Um, to Chase Gronick joining us out of Dallas, Texas, active shooter expert, uh, managing principal for active shooter prevention project. Chris, wouldn't that be uh, written in bedrock that students don't wander freely in the hall? Yeah, and that's a, that's absolutely correct. And the protocols only work if we use them. And as you said at the beginning of the show, the school was notified by the mother of some type of threat. And if the administration is going to go to the room, you would think the school resource officers would too. And while I think the police did an excellent job here, I again will come back and say for the last 10 years, we cannot respond our way out of this. And they keep responding to these instead of preventing them. And we have to shift as a whole nation, just like we did for fires. We haven't let a child die in a school fire in 70 years. We can do this. We just want we need to want to. Another issue that Chris Grolnick has just brought up, Chase McGee, is the specter that has reared its ugly head that the mother of this child who has, I mean, this family, the dad gives him an AR when he's got all these troubled thoughts and is expressing them. And the mother has a rap sheet as long as I 75 for Pete's sake. And neighbors say she locks the children out of the house when she's angry. Okay. That said, uh, Chase McGee, what can you tell me? Chase joining us from GPB. What can you tell me about the mom's claim? She texted the school contacting them just before the shooting happened, before her son opens fire, shooting 13 people, students and teachers. What does she text them? To Chris Grolnick, active shooter expert, what is the fix? What can we do? The FBI had flagged it. Local law enforcement went to go speak to his family. That did no good. The new school, Appalachia High, as Sonia Turner has pointed out, did not have access to any of Colt Gray's history. They let a ticking time bomb walk into their school unbeknownst to them. And, you know, Nancy, and so many others, 90% of these shooters, according to the FBI, tell somebody they're going to do it before they do it. And they provide something called leakage, which is on social media that remains up at will until it's posted, flagged or other, and then may come down later. If we just follow their history, listen to the people around, and when somebody says they're going to do something and we start believing them, then we can reduce these incidents. As great as this response was, we've still lost the lives of four people, nine others shot, and a whole host of a community that's going to be in shambles for God knows how long. Over 25 years uh, the watershed moment was Columbine. Of course, Uvalde uh, was absolutely the incorrect way to handle this. You know, Chris Hubbard, uh, Atlanta area father of children. 